If Elon another hit, here we go. A billionaire dies after accidentally backing up uh, their Tesla into their pond. And with the way the uh, windows were made, it would have been nearly impossible for her to break her windows and escape. Uh, this just goes to show how faulty the Teslas actually are, in that Elon Musk uh, should be punished for creating these faulty Teslas that are actually killing people. It can happen fast. A car crashes into water, quickly sinking. A recent victim is the sister-in-law of Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, billionaire businesswoman Angela Chow, who lost her life after backing her Tesla into a pond. McConnell referenced the tragic accident in his resignation announcement last week. We tragically lost Elaine's younger sister Angela just a few weeks ago. Angela's sister is Elaine Chow, former Secretary of Transportation during the Trump administration. The billionaire shipping heiress was attempting to make a three-point turn at her ranch outside Austin, Texas, when she reportedly put her Tesla into reverse instead of drive, sending the vehicle into a pond on her property. Now, according to reports, Chow first called her friends on the phone for help, and one actually jumped into the water in an attempt to rescue her, but was unable to break the Tesla's windows. Dr. Gordon Giesbrecht is- Yeah, the laminated windows of the Tesla are extremely hard to break. So if you do end up uh, getting stuck in, you're more than likely going to die. He's an expert on car submersions. In this demonstration, you can see Giesbrecht deliberately drive a car into a lake. The car fills with water. Giesbrecht makes his way to the back seat. Big mistake, he says. You need to get out of that vehicle as quick as possible. You've got about one minute to finish everything. We advise SWAC seat belts off, windows open, out immediately, children first. Another tip, avoid the natural instinct of calling 911 because you'll lose critical time. If you grab... And, and it's not like... Uh... 911 can get there way before your car goes completely underwater and you have no real escaping. So, yeah, you're better off trying to escape first and then calling 911. Grab your cell phone, uh, basically, you're going to die. In another demonstration, Giesbrecht and his team show how to get out correctly. They get their seatbelts off, open the windows, and escape the sinking vehicle. Your car is basically. I mean, this guy has some real guts to put himself in the situation where he's in a submerging car and show people how to escape because there is the possibility of him messing up and end up dying. Basically a boat with a big leak and uh, the windows will stay above the water for, you know, 30, 40, 60 seconds. Your electric windows will certainly work for 30 to 60 seconds. Could Angela Chow have saved herself if she had a hammer or glass breaker? Could she have broken the windows of her Tesla and gotten out, like this demonstration? AAA's Robert Sinclair says probably not. The lamination is designed to keep shards from flying all over the place to keep the glass as whole as possible. So you go to hit this, it's not going to break. These YouTube... I mean, there is a reason why, like, the driver's side, the passenger side, like, windows aren't laminated like the one shield is. And it's partly so that people can escape when there are accidents. Because that is sometimes factored into people driving, that there are going to be accidents, and that uh, the driver's side and like passenger side windows need the ability to be broken. Videos show how hard it is to break that laminated glass. I've always thought you're supposed to try to break the window with one of those window smasher things. Is that really the case? They're now building cars with laminated side windows, so even if you had a window breaker, it won't work because your side window is just like your windshield now and you can crack it, but you can't smash it. Tesla did not respond to our request for comment. Yeah, no surprise that Elon Musk is not going to want to comment on this situation. That makes sense.